Yo, what's up guys? It's TumbleDoro469 and welcome to a new Ninjago video. Today, I wanted to discuss something we saw in the recent Season 13 trailer, where Cole says this. The creature was wearing my mother's necklace. That creature was Gleck. And how do you think he got Lily's necklace? Some of you may have read the leaked episode descriptions, but I haven't and I wanted to express my thoughts. Therefore, if you have read the descriptions, it may not fit with what you are thinking, so keep that in mind. Got it? Okay, this is my first theory. It may be a bit situational, but if Lily fought the Skull Sorcerer and that is what caused her death, maybe she gave Gleck her necklace and wanted him to give it to Cole. Gleck was conveniently in Shintaro Kingdom and saw Cole's physical similarity to her. So, to fulfill his promise, he intended to give the necklace to Cole, but Cole ultimately knocked him out unconscious. My second theory is this. First off, in this situation, Lily is the Skull Sorcerer. I heard the Skull Sorcerer's identity was revealed in Episode 7's description, so some of you may immediately debunk this theory with that first statement, if it is wrong. Even if it is, hear me out. If it is true, then please don't point it out because I want the best experience while I watch Season 13 as I will be watching the episodes in numerical order regardless of the weird release schedule. Anyways, Lily forces Neck to take her necklace to Cole as bait to trap him. Cole receives the necklace, and he inevitably takes the bait as he enters the Dungeons of Shantara with Princess Vanilla. There, he is trapped. Lily tries to get Cole to join her, but knowing Cole, he will likely refuse. So he will be forced to work with the Munts and the Geckles or remain trapped in his cage. That is, until the other ninja come to save him, but going beyond is a completely different topic. What do you think on the matter? How did Gleck get Lily's necklace and how does it play into the plot? Let me know in the comments! Also, if you have any ideas for future Ninjago videos, whether they be theories, speculation, etc., feel free to let me know as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!